Hello, I'm Pam of HealingStars.com. This is a chart for the new moon, 25th of August, 2014. It's set for London, UK, British summertime. This chart has two main themes. The most obvious theme is the combination here of Mars, planet of war, in its home sign, one of the two signs it likes, Scorpio, but it's right next to Saturn. And this has been building over the last week, two weeks really. Mars wants to press ahead, go forward, take action, get on with things, but Saturn acts like a brake. So I always say to clients, it's like driving a car with a brake on. The good news, and it really is good news for everyone, especially Scorpios like myself, is that today Mars overtakes Saturn. It moves much faster. So at 2020, this evening, British summertime, sigh of relief because Mars is now full gallop going ahead. So getting on with things that have been holding you back, that frustration when you have to kind of go back and do things over and over again. It's a real test of having Mars and Saturn together like this, a test of not giving in to tears, frustration. That's why astrology to me is always so helpful to know you know, the, the Tao, the process. As you can see, the blue lines always represent flow of energy. There's a really good flow here with Mercury. Mercury is in Virgo. And of course, this new moon is in Virgo. We've just moved into that sign just two days ago. So Mercury in its home sign is also incredibly strong for the next couple of weeks. So the first energy is definitely Mars and Saturn, but we can't neglect the Sun and Moon. And they are both today opposite the planet Neptune down here at six degrees of Pisces. Again, Neptune is in its home sign and will be for a fair few years to come. Neptune is the god of the sea. Neptune is nebulous. You can't touch it and it's very hard to describe Neptune in words client asked me only this week and I go well you know it is almost indescribable but Neptune God of the sea is also I, our ideals it lifts us up and it rules the pineal gland that's our inner teacher our third eye now this progress this week the sun moves approximately one degree a day so you can just count and see ah oh, four days time it will be exactly opposite Neptune, and that will be Friday the 29th. It depends how you work with Neptune in your chart. If you're a Pisces, if your Pisces is your rising sign or your moon is in Pisces, then you're very Neptunian. Also, if you have the sun next to Pisces, sorry, in the sun next to Neptune in your birth chart, same applies to the ascendant and the moon. That means it's strong. But Neptune dissolves things. Neptune can be a fog, can't see clearly. The big however is Mercury, the planet that governs the sun, is in the discriminating sign of Virgo. It can sort the wheat from the chaff, it can sort out what the facts are. It's also bringing an opposition at this new moon to Chiron, the healer, that's a very positive sign. Now, this, the new moon is always a seed. That's what it is. It sets in motion. And Virgo is the archetype of the goddess. So one of very few signs have a, fe a female energy. And Virgo is just that. It's also the time of the harvest, reaping rewards. The other energy that you may look at also is Venus. What is Venus up to this week? Well, she's at 16 degrees of Leo at the start of the week. So she's at a right angle to this Mars-Saturn combination. Venus wants relationship, she wants love. In Leo, she needs attention. She needs lots and lots of strokes. <laughs> That's what Leo always, I love Leo because it's like the big pussycats. And it's also at a very good trine to Uranus. So. Venus, if that's diplomacy, can use the unexpected. Uranus is very 
the higher vibration of Mercury. It can be genius. So there can be some spark here of a relationship energy that confronts the status quo or the stalemate. The trine is also there of Chiron still with Saturn and Mars. That's slightly moving away, but it's still in operation. Healing is possible and it is happening. Even though at times you might feel there's not a lot of healing going on in the world, but the news is always biased towards excitement and that can mean wars, disasters, chaos. But I've noticed wonderful stories of humanity, of people reaching out to help others. It doesn't matter what colour or caste or religion, but that to me is the Neptune Chiron energy that Pisces is representing. Showing compassion to our fellow human beings, to our beloved animals, that is the way through. But coming back to this Pisces Neptune, I've written on my on my blog, I've written quite a bit about this because it is the pineal gland, that inner teacher that we all have, and it's being open to the messages that this week can bring us. Thank you for watching. Look at my website for more information, and I have a special offer on at the moment on a wonderful angel report that is your personal birth chart and it's very supportive in times of stress.